Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything coming at you with another Wargaming in Miniature video. In this video, we're going to go ahead and open up this bag. We're going to review the figures and take a look at Victrix Macedonian High Paspits. Uh, this is going to be used in my Hail Caesar or SPQR games. And I'm super excited because the High Paspits are the elite troops, the elite troops for uh, Macedonian Macedonian uh, Alexander and his his uh, phalanxes and uh, looks like there's going to be a couple of variants so let me pop this card off of here and open the Ziploc and I'll be right back all right we got the card off of the Ziploc now I do want to point out that this Ziploc bag is uh, very thick the mills on this Ziploc have got to be pretty high. So uh, it's like a freezer bag, if you know what that is. Maybe even thicker than that. Uh, this thing is pretty thick. Let's pull the sprues out. Um, Victrix has gotten away from doing boxes and they just do Ziploc bags now. The boxes are just a waste of, uh, you know, cost too much and trying to trying to save money. And I get that. I get that. I, I encourage a company to save money. Okay. And I love these Ziploc bags for my personal use. So let's go ahead and put the bag away. Let's take a look at these sprues. Okay. And I just want to identify if any of the sprues are identical to another sprue. If it is, then we'll just set it off to the side. Right. Okay, these are all sprue number one. And this would be sprue two. But on this, on these sprues, these are all exactly the same. And there are seven of them. There's seven of these sprues, but they're all the same. So let's go ahead and set these extras off to the side. And then, so the so you have one command sprue. That's what it looks like with the standard bearer and musician, and then possibly the ooh, that's sexy as hell. That leader, um, and then and then you'll get three hoplites per sprue. Now remember, you're getting seven of these, so that's twenty-one hoplites plus. These three making a total of 24. Okay, so let's let's take a look at the basic hoplites first. Okay, there are three of them. And you get three of each of the heads, right? So each style heads. Which is awesome, which tells which I mean I can go hundred percent this, I could go hundred percent that if I wanted to switch them up like that. Uh, there's enough plumage that I could add plumes to all three of those if I wanted. And these are not Sarissa. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call these Sarissa. I think these are long spears. I don't think the high pass bits used uh, the pikes. I think they were using the long spears. Because a Sarissa would be 20 feet long. Uh, at least two lengths of a person, three lengths of a person. And this is only about two lengths of a person. Yeah, because, yeah, Cirrus is like three lengths of a person. So I think these are long spears. Okay, let's... I kind of like these heads. They're the ones that... Uh, look like that, you know, the feathers on the sides. But it looks like you do get these heads as well. That does cheek guards. I don't remember. I don't look at this and see. Yep, they got cheek guards. Okay. 
yeah, these are going to be super basic to put together, right? Because your left arms are all already attached and the right arms already have the weapons in them. All you have to do is snip them, glue them, done. Then you choose your head. Uh, glue it and you're done. Drop the three shields on there. Done. Well, and then uh, crests if you want. Those would be optional. Um, okay, so let's take a close-up look at these. And then uh, we'll move on to the command sprue. Uh, these hoplons are just basic domed bronze shields. And they're fairly large compared to... There's a couple of them here that are kind of smaller without the... Basically, they don't have the uh, outer rim. Okay, these do. Those are the crests. Uh, they have a lot of feathering. I love that. A lot of detail on the crests. Um, you have an alternate style crest here, which has got um, an elevated crest. It sticks up off the helmet and not, uh, not glued, you know, flush with the helmet. This one has a tail. These two don't have a tail. Okay. Let's take a look at the heads real quick. Trying to figure out how to get it. There we go. A lot of detail. We've got a little bit of alternate alternation. That one's got a bigger O gap so you can see the face better. Um, I think these are the heads that I'm going to be using for my main troops. But uh, you could make these into just standard hoplites if you wanted. Uh, and then you could use those heads. Okay. Spears. Pointy ends. Okay, let's look at the bodies. This is only the front right now great detail on the on the uh, what do you call that the skirt the stitching the strap oh it's got something different let me check that out single stitch double stitching like the uh, cross stitching right there that's pretty good Okay, let's look at the back side. Whoa. Knots. Nice strap across the backs. Skirt looks good. I think those are supposed to be sword sheaths. It doesn't look like there's any swords in them. Unless... Yep. Those are the... Swords that have the funky handle. The, the handle that has like a hook to it. And that hook is actually... That hook part of it is actually in the underarm. You can kind of see how it starts to go up under the arm there. And you see these little flat parts on the arm. That's to assist you in gluing your shields to them. Man, these guys are going to be great. I'm going to... And you don't see a whole lot of uh, flash removal. There's a little line right there. But other than that, they're pretty clean. A little bit underneath there, under his underarm. Look at that's very minor. I don't see anything heinous sticking out. Okay, let's look at the inside of the shields. They got the full straps and they got the cross crossbar. Because your arm would go under that and then you would grab the rope around the outer edge for so it's actually like it actually attaches to your arm and then you grip it as well like uh 
modern medieval shields, less like the barbarian uh, center boss. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, let's look at the command figures. Okay, I wanted to start off by taking a look at this guy right here. Man, that looks good. He's got a rope belt. Look at that. Bronze breastplate. Skirt. Cloak. Okay. This guy's obviously the musician. He's not wearing squat diddly, but I do like the way the rope... There's a lot of detail to those models. And these guys got straight swords. He's got an empty sheath. All right, now let's take a look. And there's uh, this. Hold on. Because, okay, first of all, all three of these guys have legs. But if you wanted to, if, if you were so inclined, you could cut their legs off. And you could give them pants. Wow. Okay, now he doesn't have none of these, none of these guys. Well, this guy. This guy's just a normal hoplite, is what it looks like. Just like any of the other ones. But these two guys don't have left or right arms. So you need to, like the musician, we'll just take the left and right arm there. And what do we got up here? We got uh, a sword in one hand. And then, wait, that's, that's the right hand. That's also the right hand. So if you wanted to just have him giving, giving a command, he could do that. That's pretty good. And then, or if you want to give him a shield, and if you want to give him a shield, you drop this arm on there. It's got that flat spot so that you can glue a shield to it. Okay. A lot of options here. You've got your standard right there, ready for a, ready for a decal or painting. Okay, let's look at these heads because they're, you get a lot of them. Okay, remember the hypaspis heads? You get a couple of those winged sides. What is that? That's kind of an ornate OH2. I don't think it really tells you. OA3, OC. That's OH1, OH. Look at that guy, he's got horns. Okay, OH1, OH2 are officer crests. Okay. And you come down here to OC1, that's an officer crest that can be glued to one of those two helmets if you wanted. But then there's this helmet, which I thought was uh, one of the Macedonian officer helmets with the two feathers sticking straight up. And then you also have this Macedonian, I don't know, is that Corinthian or what do they call that when you got the little, uh, I don't know, that little, uh, Egbert thing that sticks up like that. I don't know. And then you got your, probably the musician. No helmet, no armor, nothing. So that's probably good for him. I guess that could also be the musician. MH2, what does it say? <laughs> nope, just a helmet. And you can see you get four shields. Uh different sizes. You get the standard hoplon, which is what the, all your men use. Then you got this weird shield here with a double cre double uh, band on the outside. And then you get these, which have no band on the outside. Uh, and it does say 
that the musician can still have a shield, just glue it to his back. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It says uh, to the back of strap on rear hip. Okay. Yeah. So you would glue the shield to that strap, the one hanging down, because the other strap is holding his sword. So yeah, so he'll have a shield too. It'll just be hanging off his back. These models are awesome. I give I give these models, man, like a 10 out of 10. Thank you for coming out and checking out this uh, Macedonian High Pass Bits uh, review from Victrix. Just want to let you know that I do have quite a few videos on my channel that involve unboxing and reviews of various models. Plus, I do quite a bit of painting and uh, like technique videos and things like that. So if you want to check those out, hit me up, hit uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to help support the channel, go ahead and hit the PayPal me link in the description below. And I'll see you in my next video.